Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here today with BAM's Chief Credit Officer, Suzanne Finnegan. Suzanne, a lot of uh, themes that emerged in the last week is that municipal bond investors are having more interest in the credit quality of their underlying municipal bonds in their portfolios. Um, and that's something you do every day, so we wanted to see if you could share some of your insights on how the market is reacting in the current uh, environment, which is kind of unprecedented as we turn down economic activity in, in response to the COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, let's start broadly. What questions should investors be asking about their municipal bond portfolios and credit quality as we, uh, as we move into this period? Well, Mike, um, as you know, the municipal bond market is very diverse. There are more than 40,000 individual issuers. And while some of those borrowers are extremely sensitive to even short-term economic stress, um, like some airport revenue bonds that are secured by narrow revenue streams, such as payments directly from the airlines, um, the majority including many other airport revenue bonds, are much more stable with predictable revenues, even in periods of economic stress. And as I understand it, the BAM portfolio is limited primarily to those types of more stable transactions. Is that right? Yeah. And, you know, bonds that are uh, sold by issuers that provide essential public services are historically much less likely to default. Water um, and sewer credits, utilities, um, other utilities, school districts, cities and counties, those credits make up 80% of BAM's portfolio. Um, in addition, BAM has no exposure uh, to corporate-backed municipal bonds, to hospitals, uh, to not uh, private colleges and universities. We have no charter school exposure, and we don't have any exposure to territories such as Puerto Rico or the Virgin Islands. Um, and Pam, uh, BAM rather, also has no direct exposure to any derivatives um, or any acceleration risk on variable rate debt. So a lot of the things that we may hear in the headlines about the municipal market in the next couple of weeks are just not relevant to the BAM portfolio. Just not relevant. You know, BAM tried to take the lessons learned from 2008 when we launched in 2012, um, and we tried to avoid some of the things that, you know, that had difficulty during the last Great Recession. So let's talk about other things beyond the sectors and the credits you choose. There are structural uh, considerations that BAM uh, can embed into transactions when they're underwritten up front. What kind of things protect investors that way? Well, so I think, you know, when, when we insure bonds, we do think about scenarios like this where there could be a disruption in an area. Um, one thing that can be a powerful tool is to have debt service reserve funds. Um, many issuers will set aside cash in a fund um, in the event of just such an unexpected um, occurrence. And, you know, many of the revenue bonds that BAM insures do have these debt service reserve funds. We also work upfront with issuers to craft legal covenants um, that require that budgets and revenues are set at a level sufficient to cover all debt service payments with a cushion. And so there's already some preparation for an interruption like this. Um, our surveillance staff is working very closely with issuers to ensure that um, they're prepared to make their payments and doing really everything they can to meet their obligations, um, both to investors as well as to all of their stakeholders. So what areas is the surveillance staff concentrating now? Obviously, there's, there's more intensity uh, in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so I think right now the surveillance group is focused on transactions where revenues are likely to be more volatile. Um, so that would include regions where tourism has an above average share of the economy, and then also transportation related debt, um, particularly that debt which is reliant on user fees or related revenues. We're confident that our transactions are structured with enough protection to avoid defaults. Um, and, you know, BAM is continuing to review and approve new issue transactions. Um, we're not making any changes to the sectors that we're active in. And we talked a little bit about the sectors we're not. Um, but in addition, you know, just like surveillance, we're continuing to look closely at credits that could be affected um, from regions where maybe there are more reported cases or, again, where the reliance on tourism is high. Great. Well, thanks for uh, joining us today, Suzanne, and thanks for these updates. We'll stay in touch with you as the uh, as we move forward. Thank you.